Hi everybody. Greetings from the Tahitian Hotel here in Holiday, Florida. The hotel that you guys see behind me is a hotel that was built in the early 1960s by um, former mob boss Santo Traficante. Uh, the way that it went down is when, uh, when the mob ruled Havana back in the early 60s, or I'm sorry, in the 50s, he got ousted out of Cuba. Basically with the money from, from the Cuban uh, casino operation and the gambling and everything, they were able to build this hotel that's right behind us here, which still stands today. Great piece of uh, Tampa history. Just wanted to show you guys. Here we are at the famous uh, Tahitian Hotel here in Holiday, Florida. Uh, this hotel has a lot of history. Beautiful hotel, very uh, Polynesian style, going back to the early uh, 1960s. It's uh, acres and acres of a hotel. Obviously, it's run down now, but it's a, it's a gorgeous period hotel. So, anyway, going back to the whole Santo Traficante thing, um, you guys just saw what the Tahitian Hotel over there in Holiday looks like just a few miles away here from the store. I got my son Brandon over here. He's always kind of a uh, little entertained, I guess, by our little cigar stories and cigar history and mafia history and everything else. I just wanted to bring him on as a special guest today. I also want to do a special shout out to my good friend, Caitlin McMahon, because she has started to edit my videos and I love Caitlin like a daughter. She's my daughter's best friend. So I really want to say thank you for doing it. I really appreciate it. You're the best. But anyway, going back to the whole Santo Traficante thing, um, there's a book that I have here. I'm going to show you guys. It's called, it's called Cigar City Mafia. This book is written by an author named Scott Deitch. I strongly recommend it if you guys like to read this type of stuff. It chronicles the history of the mafia in Cuba. Uh, of course, here in Tampa, because Traficante was a Tampa mob figure he was the head of the mob here in tampa he was also referred to as the silent don because you know he was one of those really under the radar quiet type of guys and uh anyway when he went down to havana in the 40s the five families in new york had to get his blessing to operate in havana and uh subsequently his son santo traficante jr uh took over his position in the mafia here in tampa and and the rains and um, eventually they ended up building the Hotel Riviera in Cuba and when Castro took over he pretty much nationalized all the hotels all the businesses but Traficante was playing both sides he was playing um, friends with Batista friends with Fidel things didn't work out the way he wanted he ended up in jail and then um, right in the beginning of the whole thing in the revolution he bribed the Cuban guard to get him out and uh, he said, look, if you get me out of here, I'll give you the money in Florida. And, you know, I think the whole thing happened, obviously, because he ended up landing here in, uh, in Tampa. And his good friend, I can't remember the name, the Tampa um, or the Hillsborough County um, Sheriff at the time picked him up at the airport. But that's another story for another day. And uh, there's a few connections in this area here. Like you guys saw the hotel there in Holiday. Um, there's actually a picture of it here in the book. I'll show you guys. There it is right there, the Tahitian. And it says, the Tahitian Inn, Tampa Wise Guy Hangout that was built on land owned by the Traficantes. What do you think about it? Definitely interesting. Interesting history, right? Yeah. Right here in our own, back, in our own backyard. And I mean, there's so many awesome places to go check out here in Tampa Bay to have such uh, amazing history when it comes to this type of stuff. You know, places where people have been gunned down, if that's your thing. If you haven't uh, checked it out, definitely go check out the Tahitian. It's not too far from Tarpon Springs here. It's about 10 minutes away. They also had a famous movie, the Donnie Brasco. Okay. It was kind of filmed in that loca in that area there too. And, when did it come out? Uh, back in the 90s. Okay. Johnny Depp is in it. It's about the mafia too. And there's you know, connections here in this area. This book is funny because it shows all the Cubans and the, and the Italians, how they work together in Tampa and the mob, in the Bolita business, uh, which is you know the illegal uh, numbers racket, the lottery or whatever. But anyway, I just love this type of stuff. I'm sure you guys have come here to the store. We always find ourselves talking about this type of stuff, and uh, I just really, really enjoy it. Yeah. 
What do you think about it? It's definitely a cool piece of history. Well, anyway, with that being said, guys, I want to sign off and uh, just wanted to showcase the whole uh, Tampa Underworld connection here to uh, our little piece of Florida. Have a good one.